Welcome back to March on Core Farms into spring and we have got some work to do but first thank you to the YouTube channel members and the Patreon member thank you very very much for your support links below the video description if you want um right call me frivolous but gonna repair the massey and we are gonna have the flotations i've decided um now can we boost this power up anymore no that's fine customize thank you very much have a look at how this looks <laughs> oh dear simple things eh? right so we've gone through jan and feb clearly because we're in march what a silly thing to say um let's have a look at the pigs um been feeding them as you do um we've got piglets in the improvised shed and uh our male and female piglets of the where are they there we go yeah the black pied and the barkshires are uh, growing up and i'm just treating them as a bit of an experiment at the moment just to uh, see at what point i think we should sell them now the females we may well keep because they'll just keep re reproducing but the males will get to a certain point and then we will sell those so keeping a close eye on it um but uh, yeah this just blows my mind this uh, enhanced animal system and how many piglets you actually get so we have bought some seed you'll see there been bought some more pig food just to keep things balanced been using the ccm um haven't used any more sugar beet yet i'll be honest um just for ease at the moment but let's have a look at what we have got planted so we have got let's move to the right window we've got a nice big field of wheat so that fills up the energy food slider we have got canola in this one which is the protein slider we're going to put field beans in 18 which will also do the protein once i've tweaked the mix and we've got our grass field here and then we've got two um fields here that we can plant whatever in now i'm thinking that we maybe do eight again as sugar beet just because that's where the bunker is i'm tempted to do linseed in 22 and 23 just because it's one of the new well, new crops for this map it was on Carmsden. um but tempted to do two fields of linseed and then i'm not sure about 21 at the minute want something that maybe could be a cash crop possibly bring us in some money um but yes so first job of today is to head and to field 18 and uh, get the feed bit and get the field beans in the ground so into the field and cedar unfolded and powered up and if you take a look at the top left field beans use a heck of a lot of nitrogen so we may need to grab um, the pallets that we have got uh, back at the yard at some point but we'll see how we get on but it's nice to be in a month where one it's bright <laughs> and two we can actually get some field work done i mean there's there was the odd contract up here um i think it was just actually no i tell a lie it was just cultivating there was one cultivating contract um through the winter so it wasn't even like there was much to be doing uh, on that front either i mean they're popping up now there's loads of fertilizing ones i think that cultivating one is still there um there's a weeding one um but 
Yeah, we're not going to be doing that. I think it was using... Let's have a look. It was using... Uh, yeah, the sort of... Is it the ridgy track, that one? But uh, yeah, no, it didn't, doesn't really appeal. So, um, where are we? It is a Friday. Uh, yesterday, the uh, Bale Bunker storage pack released on Mod Hub. And yeah, I think it actually released while I was recording um, after work in the afternoon. So yeah, I was uh, dead chuffed with that. Now, I think I've stopped a little bit too soon there. So we may need to do some reversing to try and catch the bit that I've missed especially with that shocking reverse in there failing that we will catch it oh my word I think what we might want to do is tab to the tractor and just turn off all wheel steering there we go that's a bit better right let's get some headlands done so i don't know how much we're going to get done in this episode um i don't want to do everything in one go i've left the time at times five because i think that's an appropriate speed for what we're doing at the minute um and we can always adjust it if we need to. There we go. That is a lot more easy to manage in the corners without the all-wheel steer. There we go. I will catch that bit I missed at the bottom on the next headland pass so I think I'm undecided about the grass fields now I come to think of it really not sure my logic is that if we do two fields we'll get more crop which is blatantly obvious to say um, but I know that they are obviously quite tight for the harvester. Uh, yeah, I think I think we'll give it a go. We'll give it a whirl. Um, it's not going to hurt to try it. And if it's a complete failure and the yields are... Well, not the yields, but the amount that we get off, um, as in tonnage... Because um, we can make the yield good, but if it's a small field and it's just not giving us much out of it, it seems a bit pointless. And we may put them back to grass, um, but I want to try the crops, so I think that's the plan. Um, we may put rye in the field over there that was sugar beet. Once we get down to this bottom headland, I will have a look and see what sort of price it gives. Um, field beans actually give a really good um, price per thousand litres. So, yeah, it could be worth possibly doing another field of those, maybe. But, uh, yeah, so, right, let's just get lined up so we catch the bits that are missed. There we go. Right, let's have a look at the prices of things. So scroll all the way to the bottom. Right, so, linseed. Let's have a look. 757. So that's kind of comparable to barley and wheat, which we know from 
Calms done. But it also gives the straw, so we've got that bonus as well. Rye, again, that's very similar to barley. Don't know if rye gives straw. I'm not sure on that one. Um, but you can see, look, field bean. Two and a half grand. Um, and, you know, so it's a similar um, type to soybeans. In fact, it's even better. So, but it's obviously the UK version. Oats. Oats. I'd forgotten about oats. Maybe we do oats in 21. So two fields of linseed, oats, sugar beet, field beans. That's a plan. Remind me of that <laughs> when we come to start drilling. Um in other episodes because undoubtedly i forget um so i could always watch back my own video so i know what i've said we're gonna do right i think three headlands because this is quite a long drill uh, and then we'll start some up and down rows so doing skip rows on the up and downs just to give the tractor bit more of a chance to turn now we're going to need a planter and uh, I've just I've checked the sales and there is nothing nothing that will do us any good so I was looking at potentially using this from the new Horsch aggravation pack 6.7 meters not a massive capacity but i think it will do us for the size of field that we want to do so i think that's going to be a plan i need to just double check uh the planting window for sugar beet i'm guessing it it's about now in fact we'll do that while we are on the subject no it was on the right one before sugar beet yeah we can get everything planted that we want in march so jobs are good in there give us plenty to do we'll obviously get the massey hooked up to the rollers once we finish drilling this field and uh, put those flotations to use <laughs> I'm very glad that we've uh, got those. Oh, press the wrong button. There we go. Is it going to make it past the tree? Yeah, loads of room. There we go. Back onto the line and lower down. So yeah, we'll get this rolled. We may make a start on the linseed, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't believe how little seed this is using. The I'm guessing all of the new crops that Oxygen David has added don't have variable seed rates, which is fine by me. We'll get a low planted, um, load of fields planted for not much seed usage, so all good. Fertilizer is going down reasonably quickly, but nothing atrocious so yeah we'll uh, and we've got plenty i think we've got another two pallets full so yeah jobs are good in there right we will crack on and uh, i'll see you when we're nearly finished last pass up the field and that's worked out quite well actually right in front of the gate um I think what we'll do is we'll head back to the yard, refill with furt, and then it's ready to go for the linseed. So in fact, what we'll do is we'll fold that up and we'll just get linseed selected. I do like the animation on this drill. 
Now, what we might need here is four-wheel steer just to get ourselves out the gate. Put some beacons on. Oh, there we go. Just on time. The old mixer wagon. Yeah, all right. Impatient. Where's my uh, middle finger mod, Mr. Thor? <laughs> Um, if you're not on my Discord, you won't. You might not get that. We were talking about. Um, I forget what we're on about now. We were talking about oh the weight, um, and uh, how I'd been using it, and Mark was asking about uh, whether it needed any more um, weight options, um, and I was like, no, it's absolutely fine. Um, really like it. Um, and I said, what I do. And I was talking about it in the uh, the video that I'd done. I can't remember what day it was now. Um, but yeah, I was saying I could do with a middle finger mod like the big foam pointy fingers you could you get. Um, I, I remember them watching, uh, what was it, gladiators. They used to point the fingers. Um, but yeah, get one of those and have it act like a chainsaw as a sort of hand tool. But it hasn't materialised yet, so quite disappointed by that. Right, enough random waffle. No, too far, I've run that over, there we go. Let's get the rollers. We will get the field beans rolled, and then we'll move on and uh, get the linseed in the ground, I think. Did muck out the pigs again. That's all done. There we go. Rollers on. And we'll head to the field. So with one set of skip rows done, we're now filling in back across the field. And uh, now I'm no farmer, if you hadn't noticed. But I'm pretty sure that there are field beans grown near me because... I think it was, um, who was I watching? It was Dagoin, actually, on Court Farm, um, and I think, I'm pretty sure he's done the field beans, um, and they go a really dark brown, blacky colour, um, and they're starting, and that, there's a couple of fields on the way to work that are looking like that. Um, so I'm pretty sure that they are field beans and yeah it's like they're so dusty as well when they're harvested I've seen pictures of combines on Tinterweb after having done them and they're absolutely caked in dust now there's a little bit that we missed there say so we me and we'll just back up and get that. There we go. Get the old cruise control back on again. And move to the next and final row. I do love this feature within VCA. I know I keep going on about it and I apologise, but it is blooming awesome. There we go. Right, we'll get this done. We may as well take the rollers up to the builds of linseed that we're going to drill just so they're there ready uh, then we can grab the JCB uh, need to fill it up with the fur and then we'll head up and start drilling the linseed so with this field um, we're okay for the field entrance as there's no gate and we've got plenty of space um, to manoeuvre the uh, combine in. Now the other one yeah, is going to be a little bit tighter but what I'm thinking and if we can just get that on there and lower that down and get going yeah um, we'll le I'll leave there sort of like we've, like we've start, that, start that again so the field where 
I painted the track in and the sort of field entrance. That's, there we go, that's better. We'll leave um, a, a, the grass um, in field 22, is it? 22? Yeah, 22. Um, we'll leave a field entrance there so we can get the combine in and out a little bit easier. Now, I suppose the other option is uh, if the wheat's ready before the linseed. Let's have a look. I don't know the harvest window. Linseed. Potentially, yeah, they're going to be ready about the same time, aren't they, ish? So, yeah, we'll have to see, because we can maybe cut that and then cut that, but yeah, I don't think it'll hurt to leave ourselves a bit of turning room uh, anyway, so we'll do that, we just won't drill that part, and we'll let the grass grow. But yeah, I think the only issue that we may have with these fields is because I threw down so much nitrogen that we may be over. You can see that the uh, target, top left target, is in places just a bit above, just a bit below. So we're getting it as good as we can uh, with what we put down before. But it won't matter too much. Let's raise up and get turned around. There we go. Not going to take long these fields, but hopefully we'll get a decent amount of linseed off them. And like I say, we get the straw, so that's a bonus as well. But yeah, just a nice steady episode. Getting some crops in the ground. Hopefully they'll bring us in a bit of cash. Um, and the others will obviously feed our pigs when it comes time to harvest. So squeezing our way through the gateway. Now, this is going to take a little bit of thinking about. So let's get unfolded. And what I might do is start down this end. And then we can work our way round the headland and then leave a gap by the gateway so let's get to here turn on lower down and we'll try and leave a little bit of a gap to the hedge there we go doesn't need to be much of a headland uh, and then put this side like I said just leaving a tiny slither that will grow in mainly so we're not bouncing the boom of the sprayer off the trees when it comes to uh, putting the herbicide down which undoubtedly we'll need to do at some point so now if we Go right up here. Cut that in there. And then... I think now start to come across... Like this. Now it may not be perfect. But I think that should be... Plenty... Of field entrance... There we go. Head back down to the bottom, do another headland, and then uh, crack on with the centre of the field. So about half the field done. And I was just looking at how the money is still pretty good, to be fair. Those silage bales were an absolute lifeline. Um, I think that well, one, I think we're going to need to buy ourselves a potentially a manure spreader and also potentially, I'll tell you what, we'll do this little slit this side. Um, 
So manure spreader. Probably gonna go with the bunning one, maybe. Um and a slurry tanker because the pigs in the improvised shed are producing both so we need a way to even if we don't use it on the fields we still need a way to transport it now obviously we've got our trailer that we could uh, transfer the manure with if we need to um, if we don't end up getting enough to spread on a field but my thinking is the slurry, we're going to need to transport it um, either to a field or to the BGA. So what I'm getting at is that's what we need. A couple of things we need to buy. Um, I mowers empty to lease still, to be fair. Um, whether we have them on a long-term lease, maybe. Um, but what I'm getting at is I'm still saving up for the um, bit of wasteland across the way from our farm. Um, I think at some point we're going to need that for an expansion. Uh, build ourselves a bit of a... It's not even really a satellite yard, is it? It's uh, just going to be a yard extension. Um, I think we are hopefully going to start to make some money from the pigs relatively soon um, with the amount of piglets we're getting especially the males, get them fattened up a bit wait till they're about 200 three, two, 300 pounds maybe um, and then yeah see how much we can make off of those, Keep, like I say keep the females because they'll keep reproducing etc etc so that's the plan. So the long-term sort of aim is to have that field across the way and expand our yard into it. Whether we keep more animals over there or it becomes sort of a storage point for feed or whatever. I don't know yet. But yeah, it'd be good to get that purchase. So that was what, 200 and... I think it was about 280 grand, wasn't it? So we're a bit of a way off, but hopefully with the silage that we're going to be doing um, throughout the year and possibly you know selling the linseed etc hopefully before long we'll have the cash to uh, make that expansion right that's that done so we can get this out of the field parked up um, and then we'll grab the rollers uh, and I'll probably see you, I'm going to do the one on the left first, and then I'll see you when we're back in this field, number 22, getting the rolling done. Well, that was a snug fit, to say the least. So, as I said, done that field, and now we're on to the last one, for now, anyway. Um, so, for you, that's probably been about half a half a second transition for me it's been a little bit longer nearly three hours in fact um finally got chance to um record a multiplayer episode with disturbed so that was good we hadn't we looked and and not done it for about six weeks i think which I think it's probably the longest we've gone other than when his laptop was kaput but um, yes that was good that was a good hour well an hour on camera chatting and then I think we probably spent about another hour um, off camera putting the world to rights um, all that sort of thing that will never ever um, see the light of day um but yeah it's been cool been good i think uh you know he's if you we were talking that we do follow we do follow we do share um quite a similar audience so you'll know that he struggles with his headaches a lot 
uh, more so recently so hopefully that uh, gave him a little bit of an, a break from uh, thinking about them and he could listen to me drivel on and say oh dear and laugh quite a lot and and we do we have a we have a good laugh doing it um and we do a little bit of farming at the same time so if you haven't go and check those out they are a good laugh um we briefly discussed um what we're going to do next after nebraska um i don't say too much because there's still a lot of planning to do and yeah it's just need to wait for the right set of circumstances let's put it that way but yeah it's good to get back on that again so that'll be out on sunday the 5th 6th of august so that's my uh, task for this evening is to get that edited and rendered and uploading and processing to youtube but yeah they're a good laugh um and yeah feature length episodes let's call them that but it's because we just one we're on a 4x map so you know everything takes ages um and plus we just get talking <laughs> that's probably the main reason we just talk we're like a couple of old housewives um from time to time um so yeah so did the recording having a sandwich because i was a bit peckish scrolling through facebook and lo and behold bullet bill was talking about field beans um and how he sort of redone the textures and the growth stages and added a load more dust and i was like ah he must have been earwigging on what we were saying earlier so that'd be cool to see when that map comes out i'm guessing it must be for his map um he's another chap that's uh sort of stepped back or had stepped back from the modding community but it's so good to have him back because his stuff is awesome so where are we now quarter to four in the afternoon and being the first day of spring still not the lightest of evenings so not sure how much for longer we can go for um so what do we need to do we need to plant oats in that field there number 21 we then can put sugar bee in the other field which the number eludes me eight field eight i'm gonna go with eight might be right might be wrong i'm not sure um but i think they'll be done in a separate episode there's obviously the feeding of the pigs and keeping an eye on the males the male piglets at least anyway um just so we can look for the point in which to sell them and i think that's a about it really we can move through time pretty quickly and um, we got a good start at the back end of last year so there's not much that is left to be done once we have oh there's just a tiny bit there once we have uh, got these fields drilled planted rolled etc there'll be the odd weeding but that's uh nothing too arduous so i think we're in a good place we can head back to the yard and uh, yeah we'll uh, catch up in a second so last job of the day is to grab ourselves um a partial load i don't think we need a full trailer for full trailer load of sugar beet now reason for doing this is i want to actually use them <laughs> um and i feel like it's a bit of a oh, i feel like i'm one i'm being lazy um by not uh using them but um two it's a bit of a faff with the uh teddy handler just grabbing a bucket load um every time so ooh, 
we just back up here there we go and refill we'll go for that should be enough to be going on with now I think what we're going to do is just spin this round so we can get back down the verge that we put in um, I think I'm going to tip these near the CCM bales and then we've got the straw, the CCM bales and the bags of pig food um, there to feed the pigs so that's my plan um, and like I say then we'll start using the actual produce that we're growing uh, to feed the pigs rather than just using the bags um, and the CCM bales so they're going to get actual products used rather than pre-made mixes so just need to navigate our way <laughs> back out the gate Don't go a bit quiet while I do this you wait now there'll be a cement mixer coming along with something Ooh, might actually do it there we go a bit of quiet while I concentrated but give your ears a rest right let's um, get these tipped and then we are done there we go it's quite a nice neat little pile actually jobs are good one. and there's a crow there we'll look, waiting to start eating them um, right thank you very very much for watching next time we'll continue with the drilling and the spring planting um, but yeah quite enjoyed that it's nice to be back in a field and put in the crops in the ground for this year's harvest so thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have leave a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one take care